startling statistics about just how much food crops are now being used for biofuel. And as a, as a Canadian farmer, we do a lot of exporting to the third world of, you know, portable dry protein in the form of pulses and lentils. Um, and we can produce that affordably and export it. So uh, I guess when we're using farmland to farm biofuels, not only do we harm the food security of our country, but we're actually making it more difficult for people in the developing world to get access to cheap, affordable food too. Definitely. That's that's one of my concerns as well as a, a human rights um, advocate, because uh, I think um, you know, when you consider the fact that um, when when um, a field of potato is disappearing here to grow energy crops, you know, the, the world market is asking for that same value. So somewhere in the world should be a land clean to, to produce these potatoes. And that's highly likely the Amazon forest, which has been chopped down to, to, to produce potatoes, which we, you know, gave away. And so, so there is a lot of uh, there are a lot of things in the energy politics where um, we're all just running on emotions and not on rational thinking. And you know, when when you think of a globalized world, you should you should know that you know taking a piece of land here uh, for energy crops instead of potatoes, you will be destroying a forest somewhere else in the world. But um, so so I th I, th I think. Um, um, well, it's, it's, it's for me hard to cope that this is actually happening right now because a lot of people are thinking, you know, and are saying, you know, what are you worried? You know, we have food enough and all the food is coming from all over the world. And uh, but, you know, I think um, we should we should have a balance. And I'm, I'm missing the balance because of the radicalized energy policy. A lot of farmers and farmers are not stupid, they're business people. So they know where the money is. And, and when the government is putting out high subsidized uh, energy crops, well, the farmers will, will switch very rapidly. And um, now here in, in this region of, of Germany in Saxony-Anhalt, you cannot find one potato anymore. <laughs>